my head and then pull the trigger come on oh, there's no way i can't your attention please today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching malfunction we apologize for any inconvenience the next stop is iwatodai Iwatoda, Iwatoda. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time.
Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. this hour. Don't tell me. Wait! Huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boy storm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Like a hobby? I mean, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night!
けば Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Great. Let's set out. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look, there it is now. Morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Geku Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. There it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but... I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. Listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Huh? The 
library? Strange. I even made sure to check the map, but... Where am I? Are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry. I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? What? Don't look at me like that. Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, hey, it's Yukatan. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Funny, huh? Um, uh, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, 
It's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Go! Think so? Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, maybe. I think... Jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining the club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop at Iwa Todai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow.
Welcome back. Yes. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko.
saver. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Any other questions? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, clever, isn't it? You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. <laughs> What do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... You don't need to know. Just drop up a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm serious! I was scared yeah, shitless! Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same yeah, time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. happening to me? Uh, 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 
Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. Until we meet again.
What's up? How's it going? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh, yeah, you can rent out CDs, too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Well, let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo! One more try. Just one more. Welcome back. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it. 
This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Ah. <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. somewhere nearby. What? Uh, oh, let's pull back! What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go! Yeah.
It's here. <laughs> Wait. Was that? to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. The power of a persona 
is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past, but it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Really? But still. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. i 
or something. on the way home. I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. Home safe. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people simply aren't cognizant of. But the dark hour does exist. And it occurs each night at midnight. It will happen tonight, 
and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the Dark Hour, and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the Shadows. Mitsuru Kirijo-kun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Don't think too hard on it. Just hang out with us for a while. Please, we need your help. Wait, don't pressure him like that. What if he feels like he can't say no? I mean, I'd like it if he joined too, but... Thank you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. That's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know, because it's the weekend, shall we end? Shall week end? Get it? Hi, how have you been? <laughs> I'm always by your side. 
Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. It's the end of everything, but to be honest, I don't really know much about it. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. Yeah, this thing's pretty heavy. What? Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me. If you wanna go ahead. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? Hey, what's with the top guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Huh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I didn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. And the key... The chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. Sleep. Can I have a minute? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Damn. Don't waste any time. 
she's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. Okay, school day's finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. The accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. It's been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already! You better hurry! Oh, man. I'm getting kind of hungry. It's small rocks! So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Uh, so I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Well, uh, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Uh, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. Bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail! It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa, your nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. <sighs> yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Not much point, anyway since I can't summon a persona. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight.
This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? <sighs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like... the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me! 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 Pick me! <sighs> You're in charge. Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? That's true, too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can! Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? That's the spirit. What's the matter? I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty, but at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. Hey, are 
you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Don't tell me you dozed off. You're like that coach who fell asleep during the championship game. Come on, man. You're supposed to be our leader. Cut him some slack. If nothing's wrong, then let's get going. Leader. Real deal from here on, huh? Well, it's easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Hold on. There's a shadow up ahead. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. All right, let's start by going over how to attack shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Uh, 
Okay. Looks like I'm up. Here goes. Check this out. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Takeba too. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. Let's continue exploring. Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. All right, next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait! Let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! Oh, you're not so bad yourself, Yukitan. That's it, Takeba. You give it a try as well. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Yeah. The heck? Hey! Found some kind of boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet! So they're basically like treasure chests. Oh yeah! Let's bust it open and see what's inside! That looks like it'll be useful. It's up to you to decide how to use it. detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. 
Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Whoa! That sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! opening it's like my body just knew what to do that was magnificent teamwork it's hard to believe it's your first time as you grasp the flow of battle you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring Another shadow up ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will.
Looks like you really do have a special power. I'll go with. I'm still here. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that...? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Your chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. What's that you got there? what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. If you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! But damn, why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I have to say though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that.
All right. Hmm. Not bad. Salut. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the Student Council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, what a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off.
Yo, wanna stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Might wanna stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. There's a pharmacy there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. Notice how popular Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem monkey. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We love to join your little, uh, group here. We can shop later! Well, are you free or not? Uh, of course! No problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? The, the police station? You mean, we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit-chat gives me a headache. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Uh, anyway, let's go.
Help. Thank you, Kurosawa-san. I'll be taking this. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Hmm. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Oh, and here, this is from Ikutsuki-san. Whoa, is that our war funds? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa-san has connections. He can secure equipment for us, but these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you two. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. If you need something, we can talk in the back. All right. stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Uh, as long as you need. I believe the police station's selling weapons. What's more, they only gave us 5,000 yen. Ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, what kind of save in the world? I never feel like... Oh, crap. It's this late already? I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shogun. I gotta go. Well, about that. I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. All right, see you back at the dorm.
You'll be all right. That point can't hurt you. Go on, take a look. It's not even that sharp. Open your eyes. Welcome back. Let's see. What's up? Hey man, I'm gonna get some ramen after school. You wanna come? No reason really. Just don't have anything to do later. Plus, I figured we could finish our chat from this morning. So how about it, man? Let's get some ramen at the mall and talk. Mm. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. Well, was I right or was I right? Soup here tastes great, doesn't it? We've got to put some special ingredient in it. Something no other ramen shop would ever use. Maybe there's a secret clue in the shop's name. Ah, my bad. I always geek out a little whenever I eat here. You do? Really? You taste the magic too? Man, I wasn't expecting that. I think I'm liking you more by the minute. By the way, I hear you and Takeba-san are pretty close. Damn, and you just transferred here too. Well, I can't blame you. Man's gotta be aggressive in this day and age. Hey, let's hang out after school again sometime. Let me know when you're free. I'll tell you all about my secret plan. Dude, you're gonna flip when you hear it. It's already dark? Damn, I missed my favorite show. Man, for real? Oh well. well let's get going. Uh, but first, let's swap numbers. Bust out that cell phone. As we explore Tartarus, this will be our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you to take charge during the operation. reminds me.
All right. Shadow showed up during class. Then I'd have a look. Yes, we got the advantage. Looks like the enemy's weak to ice. What to do?
job, Takeba. <laughs> The treasure chest.
Perfecto. Hey, there's a treasure chest. One teleporter sighted. That'll take us back to the entrance, but I'm down to keep going. nearby. Let's see. Let's... Hmm. knew it. Those devices are teleporters. They're portals that are all connected to one another. Once activated, you should be able to travel between any of the other devices. Be sure to activate any you come across. They'll be quite useful during future expeditions. level of an ordinary shadow. Watch yourself. Focus. Not all of them are totally weak. Yeah. Hey, let's loot that chest. Let's see. Hey, there's a 
treasure chest. Is that... Let's do this. Let me tell you about a new tactic called shifting. When you knock an enemy down, shifting allows you to leverage that opening to let someone else take action. Once you do, your offense can follow up with whoever you passed your action to. If you can coordinate well with your team, you'll be able to claim victory with even greater efficiency. You should all be experienced enough to pull this off now. Go ahead and give it a try. Go for the enemy's weakness to win! Alright, the enemy's down! Leave it to me! Do it! Roger that! Pull the trigger! Well done. Let's continue exploring. Shadow spotted. What's the... Two 
the target. You can handle it. Pressure chest. Oh, the way the shadows wriggle and squirm is so gross. I know, right? It's like they were ripped right out of a nightmare. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Give them hell.
got ourselves a shadow here. In this situation, that's an enemy down. Good job, Takeda. What to do? Looks like we've mapped everything on this floor. We got the upper hand! Pull the trigger! And go Last one. 
worry about. One teleporter sighted. It'll take us back to the entrance, but I'm down to keep going. Man, I'm parched. I'm gonna go ahead and say there are no vending machines here, huh? Even if there were, why on earth would I buy a drink in a shady place like this?
Oh, can we go up those stairs? We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? I'm itching for some action. Focus. For real? We've completely... The enemy's nearby.
to the Velvet Room. I have been anticipating your arrival. The time has come for you to wield your power. My role is to create new personas. By merging multiple persona cards together, they can be reborn into a new form. One could call it a fusion of personas. There is much hidden potential within your persona abilities. We've never had a guest show this much promise in the past. Indeed. And by establishing social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas as well. Oh, -ho. this shall prove to be most interesting. To that end, as you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. If you wish to learn more about fusing personas in greater detail, then come talk to me so that I may give you some hints. I will assist you to the best of my ability. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering personas? Is overriding acceptable? I've completed registration. Now then, let's begin. Which will you choose? What kind of persona do you desire? Take all the time you need to consider. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. All right. opponent, but if the intel is available, I can help you. I can suggest the most effective attack based on the enemy's weakness. But I can only assist like this when we know the enemy's weakness. I'm sorry, but until you can get more information, you'll be on your own. Persona! 
The enemy's down. Let's get ready.
to attack. Boring. Is that treasure? Harder to speak up when it's the point. Stop getting in our way! Pull the trigger! The 
attacking three targets. Take them out. That's an enemy down. Good job, Takeba. Nicely done. The enemy eliminated. How the hell? Your health is low. Do you have any healing? Damn it. Teammate down. Try to get them back up. Press the attack. Well Managed done. To make it through. Let's continue exploring. that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. Hey, doesn't that chest look kind of different from the others? <laughs> that will take us to the entrance. Should we head back? Takiba is severely exhausted. Perhaps we ought to head back. Won't have enough stamina. Shadow spotted. This may be a good test of your skill. Nicely done. Enemy eliminated. 
Don't be so reckless. You won't have enough stamina. Takeba's running low on stamina. I think I might have overdone it. Is that treasure? Let's do this! Persona! 
Takeba's running low on stamina. I think I might have overdone it. Shadow spotted. What's the play? In this situation... That's, That's an enemy down! Son. Good job, Takeba! Leader, go for it! How's your stamina? I might be having a little trouble. Right. Enemy, we have the, have the initiative. Let's see. Push your way through! You look distressed! 
You yeah, won. We move well, let's move on. Yuri looks pretty exhausted. Are you all right? Whoops. Got a bit carried away. nearby. Which will you choose? Well then, shall we take a look? This would be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. It seems no new powers have been bestowed upon you. A new power emerges. It is a special persona you desire, is it not? Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. stronger. If you're being overwhelmed by the enemy's assault, protect yourselves by guarding. If you're guarding, then even if your weakness is struck, you can avoid being knocked down. Try and make use of that in battle. This may be a good test of your skill. What's the plan? 
quiet. I can hear our footsteps echo. Hey, you hear another pair of footsteps? Say! We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. Yo, check out that fancy chest! Shadow spotted! What's the plan? Takeba's running low on stamina. I think I might have overdone it. Oh, can we go up those stairs? You won't have enough stamina. Running low on <laughs> Looks like we've mapped everything on this floor. 
Enemy target. They're weak, so let's finish them quick. Nicely done. Enemy eliminated. One less to worry about. Fiori avoided the attack. Great show of skill. Wins again. Takeba's running low on stand. Treasure chest. That will take us to the entrance. Should we head back? Takiba is severely exhausted. Perhaps we ought to head back. Three targets. They're weak, so let's finish them quick. Let's see. a lot of stamina. Are you all right? Oh, 
All right, we've covered everything on this floor. Can't stop me now. a lot of stamina. Are you all right? Take a breather. We're making good progress. What's this? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering, I see. This is your progress so far. Now then, let's... What kind of persona do you desire? to consider. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Well then, shall we take a look? This 
persona, yes? Please choose what skills to inherit. It seems you have been blessed with some power. <laughs> A new power emerges. Persona, yes? What do you wish to inherit? It seems no new powers have been bestowed upon you. Well, well, well. Summoning this one, may it be your inner strength. Ah, you what kind of persona do you desire? This persona is power. What do you wish to inherit? It seems no new power. It's finally time. Take a look. This is your progress so far. Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Are you in search of new? Well, then, shall we take a look? Which will you choose? progress so far. Does that persona catch your eye? the personas you would like to fuse.
look. Please. Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Now then. What kind of persona do you desire? What do you wish to inherit? It seems no new... So it begins. This persona is powerful. Please choose what skills to inherit. It seems no new powers have been bestowed. <laughs> A new power emerges. the personas you would like to fuse. What kind of... Well, then, shall we take a look? You can't control this one yet. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. You'll be summoning this one. Very well, it's yours. Please, you can't carry any more than that. Ah, few. What kind of persona do you desire? Take all the time you need to consider. Are you finished? We look... to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. Yes.
Sell in bulk? Sure, it's a deal. What'd you bring? Up oh, sure now. All right, I'll take. How many are you? Sure now. All right, I'll take that. Your answer. Sure. I'm at your answer. Sure. I'm at your answer. All right, I'll take that. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing you. Starting today, 
He's an official member of the team. Welcome aboard. I'm Yuko Nishiwaki. She's our team manager. She'll answer any of your questions. You're a second year, right? Since we're in the same grade, you can just call me Yuko. Let's see. Hey, Miyamoto. Yes. This here's our future team captain. A great runner and places well in competitions. You two are in the same class, right? Miyamoto, keep an eye on the new guy here, okay? You got it. You're the guy who went out with Takeba on the first day of school, right? You're practically a celebrity. I'm Kazushi Miyamoto. You see me around, right? Then, long story short, from now on, you're mine after school. You better not think you're getting the easy treatment just because you joined mid-season. on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. There's no practice the days before tests, though. I'll make sure your uniform is ready for next time.
know what? Practice? All right. <sighs> My side is killing me. I might have overdone it a bit. Easy for you to say, but honestly, you're probably onto something. How about you? You okay? You've really been pushing it. You don't even look tired. Uh, what kind of training regimen do you have? You say that like it's no big deal. Meanwhile, I'm dying over here. You're pretty crazy. Uh, kind of sucks. You totally destroyed me. I knew the standards were high around here, but I never thought someone so good would be right in front of me. Okay, I've made up my mind. Listen up, I'm gonna make you eat my dust. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so worked up. Let's get go. Ah. I think I might have twisted my knee. Ah, forget it. Let's go. Respect. And the guys on the team all act like little kids. Where's my towel? Can you wash this for me? Ugh, I'm not their mother, you know. At least I don't have to worry about gaining weight since I'm always running around taking care of them. How about you? Are you enjoying track and field? Oh yeah? That's good to hear. 
Thought it might be boring for you, since you're so much better than everyone else. I can tell just by looking. It's like you've got your own style, and you don't waste much energy. Well, if you have any questions, just ask Kaz. Um, you know, Kazushi. You guys are in the same class, so I'm sure he'd be willing to help you. You can ask me too if you want, since I'm the manager. There's a show I want to catch. See you at school. you like to order. Our special today is fresh mackerel. As you might suspect, we don't serve sushi here. Oh, you're a student, aren't you? <laughs> then you must be from Gekokan High, right? That means you probably know about the persimmon tree there, don't you? Do you 
think I'm making this up? I assure you, it's real. At Gekukan High, there's an open courtyard area. The tree grows beside a walkway there. Please excuse my husband. Just consider it the ramblings of an old man. Don't you worry your little head, okay? Welcome to Bookworms. How many guests? Smoking or non-smoking? Hmm, that leaf that's in your hand. Oh, do you mean to tell me this is a leaf from that persimmon tree? It must have grown quite a bit to produce such splendid leaves. Oh, wait, uh, so you aren't here to buy books? Did you come visit just to show this to us? I knew it. I knew right from the start that you were a kind young man. I've been meaning to go see that tree for a while now, but I'm not sure if these stumpy old legs will make it that far. That wasn't meant to be a pun. You know, stumpy. Uh, tree stump? Get it? <laughs> yes, yes. You're very clever, dear. Let me introduce my wife, Mitsuko. I'm Bunkichi. If you don't mind, would you tell us your name? Hmm, yes, a good name, as good as mine. We're open every day except Monday. Come visit us whenever you're free. I see you back.
I suppose. What was your name again? Oh, no need to tell me. I was just joking. I'm not that senile. My wife and I were just talking about you. Tell me, do you like this kind of treat? Someone gave it to me, but I have more than enough. Go ahead and take it. worry about it. You don't have to thank you for something as small as this. You're so polite, I say. You're like his complete opposite. Uh, would you like another to give to a friend? We have so many. My wife and I would take forever to finish them all. Right then. Here you go. Uh, 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 for real this time. Uh, what was your name again? Goodness, dear. It's him, remember? My apologies. He's been terribly forgetful lately. Here you are. Say, uh, uh, where did that boy run off to, dear? He should be here helping customers. Sorry about that. spoiled son. He hasn't been back in a while. Honestly, where in the world did he go? Right, dear? Oh, my dear, he's... Our son left this world before we did. I'm sorry. He came all the way out here only to see this pitiful sight. You look like you just seen a ghost. It's dark outside. We don't need it to be dark in here, too. Come visit us again, will you? We'll be waiting.
reminds me. We'll now begin this morning's assembly. First, our principal has some words he'd like to share with you. Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you. What's the deal with the assembly? You think it's about the recent incidents? It's me. He shouldn't even know about the shadows or anything. I just hope this doesn't take too long. He's not exactly known for his brevity. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to tell you about my um, vision for this school year. As you are aware, strange incidents have been reported on the news lately. It is my firm belief that none of you are involved. However, the uncertainties of high school life are many, and overcoming this will require constant effort. You must dig down deep inside but don't worry so much that you lose touch with reality. As they say, everything in moderation. This is the key to reaping all the rewards that school has to offer. Wait a minute. Doesn't this remind you of Kirijo Senpai's speech? Yeah, you're right. I guess he doesn't want to be outdone by a teenager? Can't really blame him, but still. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry, but I'll need some of your time after school. I have a special request for you. I apologize if I'm being abrupt, but I couldn't think of a better person to ask. I'll tell you more about it after school. Until then. So, after 
to keep you waiting. To make a long story short, I'd like you to join student council. We meet regularly, but I don't expect you to participate every time. Just come to the student council room when you can. Because of your ability to lead, being president is very time consuming. I'd like to have an ally to support me in the event of an emergency. An ally meaning someone who understands my situation. You know what it means to be a leader, so I'm asking you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. And I've already filed and approved your student council membership on your behalf. But you'll have to go to the faculty office on your own to sign everything. I'm sorry for making arrangements without your permission, but I hope you understand the position I'm in. Once you're ready, come to the student council room. I'll be waiting for you there.
You made it. What'll it be? I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Uh-huh. What are you looking for? A little what are you looking for? What'll it be? What'll it take as long as you need? What are you looking for? Hmm? You can be seeing you. What can I do for you? Ah, yes, yes. Kirijo-san filled me in. All we need is your signature, so read through this and sign here. All right, looks good. You can leave the rest to me. Good luck in student council. everyone. This is who I've been talking to you about. He'll be joining us in student council starting today. Ah, so he's the one. I'm Hidetoshi Odegiri. I supervise the disciplinary committee. I'm Chihiro Fushimi, the treasurer. I'm a first year and, um, I'm still learning the rope, so please be patient with me. You must be quite talented to be handpicked by the president herself. I look forward to working with you. Introductions will be enough for today. What we want from you is to assist us as necessary. From now on, you have my permission to enter the student council room whenever you wish. Your time is your own after school, but try to remember the student council every now and then. We meet on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but we don't meet on days before tests. 
Thanks for coming today. Appreciate it. Show you what I'm made of. Next year, so you've got time. Just don't overdo it. Hey, you. Uh, why don't you leave practice early and take him home? Sorry. What are you looking at? I'm fine. It's just, uh, my anemia is acting up. Of course. It's just, you know, a touch of anemia. 
Damn it! I can't do it. I can't lie to you. Look, the truth is, it's my knee. It hasn't felt right ever since that day you first came to practice. I tried medicine, I tried wrapping it, but the pain won't stop. Of course it will. But I can't afford to stop training, so I'll play through the pain. Next year, there's a national competition. Athletes from all over Japan will be there. The regionals don't hold a candle in comparison. And if I want to win, then I have to spend the next year training. A lot of guys on the team are nosy as hell. They find out about my knee, they won't leave me alone. So please keep it a secret, okay? We gotta look out for each other. If I go easy on it, I can make it home by myself. Don't worry about me. You get on back to training. Welcome back. No. Yeah. 
Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Hermit Arcana.
Well then. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit.
morning. Yeah. Son's getting checked up at the hospital today. He called me earlier and asked me to bring him something. Yep, he knows who to count on. He only asked you because you don't have anything better to do after school. Hey, I resent that. <laughs> Just kidding. So, what do you want you to bring? The class roster for 2E. Class roster? What's he want that for? Well, I don't have practice today. So I guess I'll come along and find out. You're coming too, right? Cool. Wait a minute. What? Is there a problem? Well, it was me, he asked. Um, is Sonata-san? In this room, by any chance? What are all of you doing here? We came to see you, but you look like you're doing just fine. That's because I'm just here for a checkup. We done here, Aki? Yeah, uh, thanks. I don't have time for this shit. You're... Never mind. Who was that? A friend from school. Sort of. You know how the number of apathy syndrome cases has been increasing? Well, he knows a few people who are suffering from it. So, I thought we'd have a little chat. Hey, Junpei. Did you bring what I asked? Of course I did. Thanks. All right, let's get going. Uh, should you be moving your arm around so much? I'm fine. I've wasted enough time already. I need to get back to my training. By the way, Senpai, why boxing? You mean, why did I choose the sport? Well, it's not the sport itself I like. I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands. I know what it's like to feel powerless. I don't ever want to feel that way again. Besides, I'm curious to see how strong I can get. It's like a game. Only I'm competing against myself. That's one way of looking at it. But hey, I got you. I'm into games too. <laughs> yeah, video games. Ah, oh, but like fighting games. Whatever. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ali. is done. Good thing you came with me. I didn't realize there was so much to buy. Also, I wasn't really in the mental state to do this alone today. Oh, nothing major. I was exaggerating a bit. Hmm. It's still bothering me, though. In today's classic literature pop quiz, I didn't know any of the answers. And before I knew it, I dozed off. I ended up handing in a blank paper. Tell me about it. And then Mr. Okoda got all pissed off. He called me to the faculty office and even yelled at me about the length of my skirt. I had to listen to Mr. Okoda lecture me for the longest time. He was all like, uh, this rate you'll end up as a good for nothing adult. And you're not putting enough thought into your future. Come on, it's way too early to worry about the future, isn't it? We're still just teenagers. Right? We should be allowed to enjoy ourselves now, while we still can. Honestly, I haven't really thought about my future at all. I'm working hard for the track team, so I think that's good enough for now. As for the future, well, <laughs> I've got plenty of time to think about it later. I guess this isn't the best place for a long conversation, huh? I'm gonna go drop these off at the storage room. See ya! Ouch! Ow! Hey, it's dangerous to be running around here. Wait, aren't you? Oh, Andy Yuko! How many times do I have to tell you? You can call me Big Sis, nothing else. Oh no, they're gonna catch me. See ya! He's gone. That kid lives across the street from me. Why on earth are they playing tag in a place like this? I mean, it's dangerous, right? They should go play in the schoolyard or something. Oh no, the school gate is gonna close soon. Uh, I'll see you at practice.
to it. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? We look for... <laughs> it's been a while. Are you well? One week from now, there'll be a full moon. Be careful. A new hardship is coming. You'll run into one of them. You need to be prepared. But your time is limited. I'm sure you're aware of that, though. I'll come see you again when it's over. Goodbye for now. I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid!
no. Night time alone. 